Do you find yourself always manually filling out your title blocks? Instead of doing this each time you create a drawing, here's a way you can set up part and drawing templates to work together so that it fills out your title blocks for you automatically. This takes a few minutes to set up, but will save you lots of time each time you go to create a drawing. The trick is done with something called parametric notes or smart notes. The smart notes in the title block will work with some properties in the part file, so we'll go through how to create templates for each so they can work together. Let's start with the part template. Creating new templates is easy. You can start with the default template. Make the changes you want and save it as your own custom template. For our purposes, we need to add some custom properties in the part template that will later be used in the drawing. So I'll go to File, Properties, and on the Custom tab, I'll fill in a few properties that will go in the title block. I'll leave the text blank in the template and come back to this later when I fill it out for an actual part. For the material, I'll be sure to use the SOLIDWORKS material property that's specified in the feature tree. Once I have a few properties added, I can save the template. To do this, all you have to do is go to File, Save As, and change the Save As type to Part Template. I'll give it a unique name and click Save. The next step is to set up a drawing template that links to the properties that we just added here in the Part Template. I'll create a new drawing from this part template. Just as with the part template, I can change any document properties and save them in the template. But in this example, I'm mainly interested in adding the parametric notes that reference the properties we just set up in the part. One key step in doing this is that I need to add a view to the drawing that includes the part. I'll show you why in a moment. So I'll click the standard 3 view button and click OK. You may have noticed as soon as I did this, SOLIDWORKS filled in the material. That's because the title block already had a smart note in it. Let's look at how to add some more. I'll right click and edit the sheet format. And when I go to add a note, instead of typing the note in, I want to link it to the model's custom properties, so I'll click the link icon. Remember, we need to link it to the model's properties, not the current drawing's properties. When I select Model here, all I have to do is choose the property from the drop-down. I'll quickly create smart notes for a few more of the custom properties that we set up in the part template. Once they're added, I can save the drawing template just as before. I'll go to File, Save As, change the Save As type to Drawing Template, give it a unique name, and click Save. So let's try everything out. I'll start a new part and choose my custom part template. I can create a quick extrude. and give it a material. Next, let's go ahead and add the properties for the drawing. I'll type in the values. I'll click OK and save the part. To finish up, let's make a drawing from this part. And when I choose my custom drawing template, you can see right away that all of the notes and drawing views populate automatically. In this example, I showed you how to set up part and drawing templates. Keep in mind, this works for assemblies and drawings as well. Like I said before, this may take a few minutes to set up your templates to work this way, but spending a little time up front will continue to pay off each and every time you create a drawing. Thank you. This has been a SOLIDWORKS Time Saver.